Out now, the sensational all new Bubble Blast with oh, all new Bubble, Bubble Blaster! New wow! Bubble power in the shops now while stocks last. Yes! On today's Pocket Money Day! Thanks, Mum. I'm saving my pocket money for a rainy day. <laughs> 50 pence? That's not enough! Don't be horrid, Henry. It's what we always give you. Oh, Ralph gets five pounds a week! And there's so many things I want! I want doesn't get, Henry. OK, there's so many things I need! Like the new bubble blaster! Then you'll just have to save up like Peter. Save up? Well, that'll take a million trillion years! I need more pocket money! N-O spells no. Ah! Keeping all that money in a Daffy Daisy piggy bank? Why? Oh, nothing. Just as long as the piggy bank robbers don't come. There's no such thing. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ugh, where'd you get these? They're Andrew's stick insects. I'm looking after them for the weekend. Why? Because that's what best friends do. And he donated 50 pence to my chosen charity. You mean he's paying you to look after his smelly old pets? Well, yes, sort of. You freak! That's it! Henry's pet sitting service! I'll make millions! Billions! Ralph, it's Henry. Listen, I want you to spread the word. Josh, hello. Oh, hi. Is Henry in? Henry? Why is everyone calling for Henry today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, he's upstairs, is he? Your scarf's moving. I'm not wearing a scarf. <laughs> oh. Mrs Battleaxe. Hello. Uh, Brett. Right, thanks. I'll take care of it. Bye. Not so fast. What's in that box, Henry? Nothing. Just uh, some homework Miss Battleaxe wanted me to do. Hey, what's going on? It's so easy being me. I'm So cool, Henry. I'm going to get a yo-yo of my own. And what's yours called? Oh, this one's special. This one's called a special spinner. Cool. See you tomorrow. That was really good, Henry. Yes, Henry. It's so nice to see kids playing with traditional toys instead of just listening to loud music and playing on the computer. Listen, Henry, I'm making a documentary about this and I'd like you to be in it. Really? On the TV? Yes, on the TV. And you'll be paid for your contribution too, in yo-yos. Cool! It's a deal! Oh, it's time to watch me on TV! Oh, wonder where everyone is. Hey, everyone! Time to come and watch me on TV! It's starting! This programme celebrates the power of traditional toys. Toys which don't rely on big thrills from a big screen. Where is everyone? Huh? Peter, didn't you hear me calling you? I'm on TV! Hmm? Are those my gizmos? I'm just sorting them. Really? Well, you can just stop sorting them and come downstairs right now! Where are Mum and Dad, anyway? Um, I think they're in their bedroom. Well, they should be in the sitting room watching me on TV! Mum? Dad? Ah, 
Oh, uh, sorry, Henry. Didn't you hear me calling you? Uh, no, the uh, music was too loud. And I was um, reading the latest Gross Class Zero comic. They're really good, Henry. Yeah, I know. Now, are you going to come and watch me on TV or not? In a minute. I just want to finish this story. <laughs> Parents. And so we can see from this fine young performer that traditional toys can bring the same pleasure as computer games, comics and loud music. And in some cases, may even replace them. Well done, Henry. I knew it was worth depriving you of those things for a while. Henry? Must be Henry. I've heard all about you. Have you? My name is Nerdon, Mr. Nerdon, sir to you. I'm your teacher until Miss Battleaxe recovers from flu. <gasps> and Henry, be warned, I have a long and very nasty list of punishments just for you. I don't like today. But it hasn't even started yet! <laughs> He's worse than Miss Battleaxe! Way worse! He's a bully! He's got to go! But how? Leave it to me! You're going to get rid of Mr Nerdon all by yourself? Yeah! With a little help from my friends! Yeah! Get ready, Mr Nerdon! Woof, woof, woof. I'm a dog, not a cat. So, scat. Too much repetition. Write that out 100 times. Next. I want money. I want gold. I want wealth before I'm old. I want coins that I can hold. I want banknotes I can fold. Too many rhymes. Write that out 300 times. Next. <laughs> And... Now read us your poem, Henry. <laughs> this will really gross him out. This poem is called Better Out Than In. Pirates puke on stormy seas. Giants spew on top of trees. Blech. It's so easy being me. I'm As if! What kind of nappy baby idea is that? <laughs> There's even a prize for the best brother. Class Zero? A Class Zero computer game? It's mine. Hmm. But I'd have to be nice to Peter for a whole day. Well, how hard could it be? Come on, Henry! <laughs> There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. <gasps> you freaker! That's it! I don't have to be nice to Peter! Won't fit! Yes! I 
do for you, Henry? Now, here's the form. Write down that I buy you loads of presents and give you all my pocket money. Uh, Henry, it says here you've got to get your mum to sign the form. She'll never do that. Never say never, Ralph. Mum, can you sign here, please? What is it, Henry? Oh, it's just a form to say I've, um, been eating carrots this week. What? It's to win a year's free supply of carrots. Ha! <laughs> Be nice to your brother week. Now, why would I sign this? Because I have been nice to him. Look, I've got photos to prove it. That's not Peter. That's rude Ralph with a mop on his head. I'm not signing anything. But I need to win that prize. Well, you could try actually being nice to your brother. Huh? If you do, I'll sign it. But that's not There you are. And I promise to water you every day. So you grow into big, healthy vegetables full of lots of lovely vitamins. It's so easy being me. I'm Uh, Miss Oddbod, uh, I think someone's in there. Hello! This is Miss Oddbod speaking. Is anybody in there? I heard a shout and then a crash. I'm sure it came from in there. Fine, Miss Battleax. Tell her to get the key from my office. Yes, Miss. Do you want me to take the posters for you? No, I I'll put them in the classroom. <laughs> Hurry! All right then. Hmm, strange. The key should be here. Look, a key. Could that be it? Storeroom, we could sneak out. Not yet. There's something else we need. What's going on? What's that? Henry's poster. The plan worked. We got it back. Now I'm supposed to destroy it. Supposed to destroy it? That's what I said. <laughs> but if Henry thinks I'm going to do what he tells me to do, he's got another thing coming. Yeah. You are. The noise you heard must have come from the party, William. Oh, sorry, Miss Oddbod. I still don't understand how that water got everywhere. We did it! <laughs> Miss Oddbod and I have had a chance to review all of your posters. Well done, everyone. Oh, please, Miss. I found this poster in the hall. It wouldn't be fair if it was left out. Oh, thank you, Margaret. It's Henry's. <gasps> oh, no. She double-crossed you, Henry. Just like you said she would. <laughs> Henry, could you come up here, please? Well, Henry, we've decided to give you the first prize. Congratulations, young man. Uh, uh, that's my poster! I was double-crossed! You are? Oh, it's not! It's so easy being me, I'm Okay, I'm bored with this now. Maybe the evil guardian has captured him and is even now holding him ransom in the palace of the dark. Do you think so? No. Huh? But what if it is true, though? You will never escape my evil claws.
clutches. <laughs> if you don't let me go now, I'll sneeze bogeys all over you. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> Probably ought to go and find Henry now. He'll be wondering where I've got to. Are you hungry? Do you want a drink? Well, I wouldn't mind a little something. I'll be back in a roly mo. What am I going to tell Ralph's mum? Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Ralph. I'll let your son be captured by the evil guardian. Oh, there you are, Henry. It's nearly tea time. Did you find Ralph? Not yet. I, uh. Oh, Peter, are you hungry? Can I take this to my bedroom? Of course you can, sweetie. Don't eat too much, though. It's nearly tea time. I won't. Uh, 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 oh, no, you don't. It's nearly tea time. Bone fungus! What? The evil guardian always leaves a trail of phone fungus wherever he's been. Henry? Milk or juice? Milk. No, juice. Or maybe both. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> he's still not there. was captured by the evil guardian. So it's all true? Oh, yes. I've been tortured terribly, but Barbara's bogey's got me out of trouble. Boys, I don't want to spoil your fun, but I have a question to ask Henry. Yes, Mum? What, may I ask, is this? Oh, fungus, it is all true. Today. Swimming? No! What's swimming got to do with education? It's not like I'm going to grow up to be a fish. Swimming is a lesson. Yes, that's why you get schools of dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Peter. It's the water I hate. It's so wet. It stings your eyes and the pool's so cold, penguins can fly in for the winter. Um, penguins can't actually fly, Henry. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. Anyone would think you can't swim. Of course I can swim. Mum, I can't go swimming. Look, I've got a Veruca! Oh. Hmm. There is something there. <gasps> uh... I hate swimming. When I'm king, no one will have to do swimming ever. Give it up, Ralph. Oh, it worked on Andrew. <laughs> You can't scare me! If I do, will you give me your pocket money? Yeah, OK. All 50p of it. 
Deal! So, what are you going to tell Soggy Sid this week? I forgot my trunks. No way! You did that last time and the time before. Hmm. OK, then. Time for Plan B. It's so easy being me. I'm Number one. Ooh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Look, Fluffy, it's a message from the number gnomes. It says hashtag number gnome number one, Fluffy. Ooh, I wonder if that's code for something. Peter? Yes, Mom? Nighty night, Fluffy Wuffy. See you in the morning. So then, we got a secret message from number known number one. What did it say, Sweetie Bundle? Well, it said... We know what it said, Worm. You've told us a thousand times. I thought you couldn't hear me when you put your fingers in your ears, Henry. Unfortunately, I can, Worm. So why do you put your fingers in your ears then, Henry? Because I am making a statement. A statement about what, Henry? About how boring you are. Don't be horrid, Henry. So then, we got a secret message from number no number one. Can you believe this? How do you know it was a secret message, Peter? What do you mean? I mean, are you sure it was secret, Peter? Well... Yes, it said it was secret. Because maybe it's not secret. Maybe everyone else knows about it too. It was a secret message. It said... Here we go again. Anyway, who knows, Henry? That's the mystery of the message. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. Gotta go now. Not so fast, Henry. Hmm? I think it would be nice if you spent some time with Peter today. Oh, sure. Come on, Peter. Let's go play Go the Worm. Not that kind of time, Henry. Quality time. Quality time? Yes, like. like. Like solving the mystery of the message! No. Oh no. No more mysteries, please. What a lovely idea, Peter. Off you two go then. What are you doing today, Mum? Maybe I can help you. Today I'm spring cleaning the kitchen. Spring cleaning the kitchen? <laughs> of course. It couldn't be a light spot of dusting or emptying the bins. It has to be spring cleaning the kitchen. No. Just can't do it. I ask you, is life fair? Come on, then, world. <laughs>